everybody, welcome to Back Issues. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. And I'm Tiffany. The comic book review series where we talk about a comic that I read a while ago and share with two people who have no context for it. It's just an entertainment show where we talk about comics. Yeah. It's not informative in any way. We but should, what you're getting? Once in a while you might learn a thing or two. We should, uh, we should get something out of the way right now. Yes. Where's Ben? Where is Ben? He's visiting family. Well, I was gonna say, like, was I supposed <laughs> to be like? Yeah, you're like, I don't know. Well, oh, whoever I replace, I'm supposed to know yeah. where they are. Yeah, yeah. It's your responsibility. Ben went to space. Oh, oh. no, he already... camp. Oh. oh, no, he didn't. Oh, no, he's visiting it's, family. It's even worse. I'm imagining yeah, Ben more. trying to get into space camp with his little kids. <laughs> he's like, I want to do the zero G room. There like, is I don't no understand. I'm smarter than all these kids. I should be like top of the class. Those little kids are like, actually, actually, you're not. <laughs> you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Ben's like, oh. Ben, these kids know calculus. <laughs> they know what? I took calculus. I have a beard. Today we're talking about a title that is completely irrelevant, which oh. is like a oh. lot of them. But we like to do that. Yeah, that's this is, cool. This is this was a much maligned book that a lot of people didn't like. Oh. It's oh. called Superman Grounded, which was originally written by J. Michael Straczynski, who wrote Spider Man and originally. So to... well, it started out with him. Oh, oh. yeah. Um, <laughs> no, they they did this really cool story uh, where they made the Kandorians big. Superman he tried to control them, he couldn't. Didn't work. And then they created their own society, and he had to like publicly reject Earth in order to be allowed to be a resident on New Krypton because he's like Zod's up to some no good. I better keep oh, an eye on like him. Infiltrating. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So, but to Earth, Superman's right. like, my people are here. Bye. And then. The planet blows up, and he's like, damn it. Hey, guys. Can I come back? So he comes back, hat in hand, <laughs> like, so can I be Superman again? And everyone's like, fuck you! So his plan then wasn't to... Well, it was, but, it, you know, super the people didn't believe yeah, it. Right. Like, no, it was all Despite part of the scheme fact... to defeat Zod. And... Yeah. Uh, you and... don't believe me. No. no. And so he's back, and Straczynski's given an opportunity here to, like, write a Superman story. And to kind of give Superman an opportunity to go back to his roots a little bit. Right, so based on the title, what happens is Ma and Pa Kent are like, send him to no. his room. <laughs> or the planet sends him to the collective <laughs> yeah. room. Yeah. No, um, it's not that. Like you sit in the corner and, and you think about what you did. Yeah. yeah. And we'll talk about that would it be after great. dinner. It's not that. It, instead, it's Superman being like, being depressed, but having never really been depressed, not really knowing how to rectify it. Mm. So, also, his dad died. Like, oh. Jonathan Kent oh. died, his planet died again, and now he's here and everyone's like, fuck you, Superman. So, I'm right. just, I'm immediately upset with this book. Cause I'm, yeah. Oh, I'm and just, be prepared for I'm more. Just, I'm on the second page, third page, and this woman is, like, crying and going with Superman. She's like, he's like, this is about New Krypton. She's like, this is, I don't give a crap about any of that. My husband's dead, he had to... He had brain cancer, and you could have cured him, but you weren't here. Yep, you were on some planet you, going on an adventure. You can't blame him for that. No, but he could, because he's Superman. He should be able to do anything. And he, <sighs> instead he, he chose... cancer. It's a natural yep. disease. Yeah. He could have... For instance, he could have picked anything. anything. Yeah. And could he picked like brain the, cancer. A, a, a guy killed a bunch of people. Right, and you yeah. stopped stop him to be them. Superman. No, it had to have been a thing that Superman has never had any history stopping ever. <laughs> yeah, he flies around scanning everybody with his x-ray vision looking for a brain tumor. And then he like, and she even gives him, an, she's like, you could have burned it out yeah. with your x-ray vision, or with your heat vision. Was it so, like, dug in there that, like, science... No, it's just he died. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying, like, science yeah, is like... Yeah, what, did they like try the cyber knife an operation Yeah, no, or it didn't work. What about Batman? Batman could have moneyed it away right? or something. Yeah. Well, she didn't care about that. She wanted Superman to help him. Okay, also this takes place after Final Crisis. Mm -hmm. So, Batman's in time. So Dick Grayson has taken over for Batman. Oh, so ba this is not Batman. No, that's oh, Dick so Grayson. Then that's why he couldn't money it away. Yeah. Mm. Well, it's Dick Grayson. He's got the money. Well, no. like He's in Wayne Manor. He's got access. Well, yeah, oh. but I'm sure he's limited access. I could totally imagine Batman doing yeah. that. Yeah. And being like, yeah. okay, I'm going to get the card. Boop. <laughs> oh! And he gets like a stipend or an allowance. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so uh, Superman is sad for many reasons. One of them being uh, that he now feels responsible for this dead guy. Yeah, and he's holding the pigs up in space. He's looking at the picture that she gave him. Yes. What are you doing, man? People die every day. Yes. <laughs> that, I know. that could have literally happen millions of times a but, day to you. But he realizes, or he comes to this epiphany, that um, 
he needs to be more grounded. Mm. He needs to be more oh. close to the land. And so he goes upon a pilgrimage from wherever he lands across the country where Superman is not going to fly because he's always flying above everybody else. Right. So he's scanning the big problems. He's not uh, down in the dirt with the rest of us solving our everyday issues like car trouble or brain tumors. Right, but so, I mean like, but like when you have things like Doomsday. Dark side or Doomsday, yeah. yeah. You, you kind of need or him. planets full of Kryptonians. I, yeah, you kind of feel like you need to have Superman ready to deal yeah. with that. Yeah. Not like, well, hang on. Jimmy's cat's up in the tree. Right, I gotta stop that. I gotta help that. Well, Superman also doesn't come to this decision lightly. He talks to Batman, hmm. uh, Dick Grayson Batman. He's Grayson, like, yeah. and he's like, what? <laughs> and then he talks to Flash, and he goes, Flash, what do you see when you're running so fast? Like when, and, and Flash says something like, you know, well, I'm, I'm, I'm focusing on, like, an object or a goal. I don't see anything. It's all a blur. Mm. He's like, of course, that's right. And that's when he decides to, like, walk across the country. And this is the book. And the book is just Straczynski proselytizing mm -hmm. about real world issues using Superman as a filter for his opinion so that he can be right. So, Right off the bat, Superman lands and he just starts walking. And reporters are hounding him everywhere. They're like, Superman, why are you <laughs> walking? Why are you why, flying? Right, what are you doing? Yeah. And all the reporters are people who will eventually criticize the book. And in one case, what? there's a fat, neck-bearded internet troll <laughs> who asks the questions that Straczynski is used to hearing on the internet. So Superman publicly humiliates him and that invalidates his argument. Are we the neckbeers? Yes. Well, some of us are. Like, mm. depending on whether you agree with Superman. Oh. Or the neckbeard. If you agree with Superman, then you're not a neckbeard. Also, you are not a critic of J. Michael Straczynski. <laughs> <laughs> but immediately people are like, fuck the story. Superman walking across the country solving, like, everyday issues because somebody threw a very specific example at him. Mm. And every superhero that he runs into is like... I think you're freaking out. Like, I think you're having a breakdown. <laughs> yeah. And arguably he is, because his his approaches to everything are ridiculous. For example, he goes through a neighborhood that is overrun with drug slums. Okay. And, the, and a drug uh, dealer comes out, and he basically says, I own, like, we own these homes. You mm. can't go into them. And take our drugs. You know, you can't stop us. And if you do, we'll just have more drugs. <laughs> right. And take over more areas. Yeah, we'll just come right back after you go. So Superman burns all their drugs with his heat vision. And sets their houses on fire. Oh. And then a little child comes out. And offers Superman candy. And he accepts it and then tells the little boy, When the drug dealers come out of their houses, give them a message for me. And the message is that I'm going to fly over this town every day and make sure that there are no drugs and if there are drugs i'm gonna burn them <laughs> all right so please little child tell yeah. these <laughs> drug dealers yeah my really really terrible news because i'm sure yeah. they're not going to be in a really negative mood when they right. come out well, of they, those burning they certainly will not you know kill the messenger no right, right. but don't worry because that's never addressed again right well it's just a lie <laughs> <laughs> He was just like he wants to scare them and yeah. hopes that they'll believe it. Well, no, but you believe that he's Spoilers, going to. They're do not it. going to. No. Well, and are, they they might for like a week, and then they'll be like, "All right, fuck this. I need money." Right. Well, well or they'll just be like, "Okay, fuck this. I'm going to go to the next town over." Yeah. Or yeah. rent an apartment. Right. I mean, yeah. you know, it's not like they've Superman solved the problem of people who want drugs. Right. That. So, it's overly simplistic approaches to real-world problems. Yep. Mm. So then, like, you know, he, he helps a guy who might have a heart attack. There's a, late, there's a girl whose mom passes away, and she decides she wants to kill on herself. Ledge, yeah. So she climbs onto a ledge, and Superman's like, I'm not going to retrieve her, fire department. Mm -hmm. I'm going to talk to her. Now I'm going to listen. Right. Because not enough people are listening. Is he flying? Okay. Yeah. Oh, no, he breaks the flying rule immediately. Because <laughs> the flying thing is just... It's a symbol. Like, I'm, I'm going to walk across the country, but when I need to be Superman, I'll still fly and stuff. Right, so I'll... 
fly around and then I'll come right back. To yes, and then I come right back where I was and resume. So I will still walk across the country. Yes, also right. technically, my yeah. step counter will still be accurate <laughs> right. when this is all over. It will Fair represent enough. the number of steps it takes to get across the country. Exactly. So he talks to uh, this girl and or he listens to her. So he uh, he takes my advice from several episodes ago when I said, "Why doesn't any of them just try to be a goddamn person mm-hmm. instead of trying to use?" magic and crap to solve people's problems right yeah he, he does like all right i'll just try to relate to somebody that's exactly right and okay. that's straczynski at his best is like that's what superman's doing he's right. trying to relate to people mm-hmm. he feels like he's been too much he's been too much of a superhero he's been too much of a demigod yeah and it's time to be like a man of the people and it's not the dumbest idea right no it, having him it, here's the thing for me and if i was a person in this universe i'd be like why are you wearing your outfit? <laughs> why don't you just... You're Superman either way. Why don't you right. just dress like a normal person so that no one knows and you don't make a big show about it? Right. If it's all, like, for you mm-hmm. to learn something, yeah. then you should, you know, keep it to yourself. No, because he's also trying to send a message. I know, well, but that's... What is it, but he also wants everyone to know what, what he's What is he going to wear? A suit and glasses? <laughs> yeah, that's, yes. a, that's a flimsy no one possibly, idea. Yeah. <laughs> no one believes it. They wouldn't know who he was then. Yeah. I mean, he should just not tell anybody. Yes. He should just... Do it, and then he'll you mean like to... Forrest Gump? Just just start running. <laughs> well, that maybe, and then when people ask him like questions, he just because well when... he wouldn't run, he'd just walk around, so no That's one would true. even ask him anything, no, know to him in any way, and he would, but he could still help people, right. and Stuff, yeah, you know, just not be showy about it, right? Well, no, but that's then that's not a comic. We got to make it a big show. <laughs> also, it wouldn't Superman wouldn't be well, a then total he would make it a point to people. That's right. So, uh, yeah. Superman does this way for him to make his point. Yeah. yeah. And he really is like, yeah. he's a, he's, he is so unrelatable and mm-hmm. such a jackass about mm-hmm. everything. Cause he just walks around with this condescending attitude where when people are legitimately engaging him, he gives them thoughtful responses. But when they're critics, he gives one sentence or one word pithy replies where he's like, well, if you don't get it, then you're just, then you're just ignorant. And then just moves on. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, oh my God, Superman. What are you doing? Mm-hmm. And this is their attempt at making Superman relatable and legitimate again. So, this and and the whole book is loaded with these with these metaphors. In one case, he's walking through a small town and he's like, "Wait a minute, there's something weird with your house." So he goes into it, and it, it turns out that the people who live in this house are actually aliens. They're actual space aliens, and they're from like a doomed home world or something, or they're aren't displaced, they all? right? Mm-hmm. And they live here and in, in secret, and they're hiding in this town, and they're dressed as like it's, regular people. It's like men in black. Yeah. yeah. But, it's, but, but it's actually a metaphor for illegal aliens. Oh. Ah. Uh, okay. And Superman's like, okay, yeah, that's great that you, that you live here, but what are you contributing? And they're like, well, we're not contributing anything because we don't have to. Like, we just, we, we're surviving. Mm-hmm. And Superman's like, that's not enough. You have to do more. You can't be illegal immigrants and live here without contributing to society. <laughs> wow. Oh, and the aliens are doe-eyed, innocent, but naively obnoxious about it. Oh my god. And Superman is just so supremely depressed by their reluctance to assist the, the United States. And then he walks through Detroit and he sees that's, this... That's friggin' offensive. Yeah. And he sees this factory is out of work, and this old African American guy is like living in the factory. And he's like, "I used to work in the factory, and boy, was it something when all those people were there working and doing and and contributing and making money." And and uh, and Superman is listening to this this kindly old voice of Black Wisdom's uh, <laughs> tale, and then he collapses. And Superman takes him to the aliens because they have alien technology. And he says, you have a responsibility to use your alien technology to help this man. Mm -hmm. So they do. And then they say, okay, cool, is that it then? Have Have we earned our passage? And he says, not by a long shot. And then he forces them to create a new business out of the old factory, manufacturing their alien tech that hurt, that helps people. And the old African-American guy works in the factory helping them out. Oh, my God. What? How, then? What, what is the, the real-world counterpart to that yeah. resolution? You're to right? How do you then solve it? Yeah. <laughs> like, 
if if you're talking about like Mexicans, right? What so what secret what, technology yeah. they're sitting on <laughs> that they're withholding from us? Yeah, that metaphor does not work. Well, at perhaps all they're part of some sort of galactic federation that says that they can't. Yeah, they're they're directed right <laughs> not to do it. Like it's a prime directive. Yeah, something mm-hmm. tells me. This, these guys are not members of the Federation. This is interesting. So they're saying, we're not taking anything from this world on our planet. Gold is plentiful and cheap, so we have enough for ten lifetimes. We're totally self-sufficient. Yeah. And, he, he's, and saying, he's like, yeah, you're self-sufficient, but like you're not helping anyone. So are they supposed to be like a metaphor for like rich people then? I like, mean, they, it, maybe. Like people who just are kind of invisible and just hide in their... You know, Ivory towers. Ages. I yeah. Can't, yeah. I can't help but notice that we're like a third of the way through this book. How many more people... <laughs> Does, Does he, he help? help? A few more. Help? What? Just well, a like few more? when when New Krypton blows up, a piece of it lands here, and it's like this. It's not a piece of it actually. It's a it's a Kryptonian uh, interrogation device mm-hmm. that Kryptonians use to display the truth or whatever. And uh, it, a person, uh, this this teacher, winds up picking it up, and it makes her crazy and hates Superman and deliberately try to sabotage his mission and so she winds up like imbuing kryptonian powers into a a drunken bum and he attacks superman oh. and like they level a town and oh. and then the rest of the time she's just in the shadows going like yes everyone mistrusts superman <laughs> <laughs> and and that's her plot and throughout this book i'm reading i'm going like when are you gonna get to this woman she's like a school teacher and also hot. Mm. And, oh, is that her there? Yeah. Is this her? Mm-hmm. This, like, close-up of her, like, belt buckle and midriff? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get some skin in this book, sell yeah. some pages! Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Dick Grayson, Batman, winds up, like, intercepting Superman on his trip. Oh. And he's like, you're having a breakdown, and I will have to stop you. Oh. And Superman's like, you couldn't stop me if you tried. <laughs> and then leaves. And you're like... Jesus Christ! Like, who is this guy? Yeah. Uh, what is happening? So, somewhere around the midpoint of this book, Straczynski reads a memo that says that the New 52 is coming. And he goes, Oh, you're gonna reboot everything? Oh, well, then I don't give a fuck. And he finds out that they're interested in getting some more graphic novels off the, t- off the table. So he goes, Ooh, I could write Superman Earth 1, which is a great, like, movie pitch. So Straczynski leaves Superman Grounded and gives it to other writers to just finish. Well, and that's and then he writes Superman Earth 1. So, okay, did that happen just in there? Yeah. What happened to the art? The art shifts in a way that I've never seen in a mainstream comic book, where, take it or leave it, but some of it is just, like, classic Superman stuff or classic, you know, big two art. And we're like, oh, cool. Right. Then there's a there's an interlude where we we and and there actually in every interlude yeah, there there's a couple yeah. of interludes in the, which uh, we, was, we see a Lois Lane story, we get a Perry White story where it breaks up the 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 main narrative of Superman crawling walking across the country. Uh-huh. The interludes look horrible. Yeah, it's funny because well, I was th- I was thinking like yeah you know the art in this book is pretty good and yeah. then I get to this section I'm like what is this art doesn't actually look that good actually. This art looks like bullshit. <laughs> well, it looks like... it like, looked it, what the it, crap happened? It, and what happened was, everyone stopped giving a fuck. Because yeah. the reviews came in and nobody oh. liked it. And Straczynski, the main force behind this book, quit. And so they're like... Here! Oh, wow. Alright, so let's wrap up Volume 1 here. Volume 1 ends where uh, a little boy is really excited that Superman's going to walk through his town. Ah. And his dad's abusive, and mm. then his dad beats the hell out of the kid, and Superman beats the hell out of the dad, and then he offers, no. he's like, he goes, Timmy, or, you know, little boy, you know, I've, here's my phone number, and you, I want you to call it every day, and leave a message. And the day that I don't get a message is the day I come back. <laughs> right, dad? And then you so never see the, lies and he lies again, <laughs> and that's the end of that he's story, that and message. you never see that well, again. Maybe... Then we have another Maybe story. He can hear it. Like it, it goes to the Fortress of Solitude. It's yeah, one of the well, ones where they talk out loud, it. and he can hear it. Yeah. yeah. Phone rings. There's there's another every and every like chapter, 
is broken up by like a city or or a state that he's in. Um, but the interludes are also microcosms for real world events mm-hmm. and an older guard having a real problem with it. Like there's a Perry White story, the editor of the Daily Planet, mm-hmm. uh, and he is you know an old warhorse editor of a newspaper Mm -hmm. and as you know it's 2010 newspapers are dying right Right. so he hears about this blog and they're writing these articles but they don't have journalistic integrity Mm. so perry takes his lousy photographer and he fires him but he also but he's like you're fired but only on paper so that you can infiltrate this blog and find out more about them and how they run their businesses. They are kind of crummy again. Yes, because yeah, it's, it's an interlude. Another, this is a different. It's another, another break. It's a different crummy artist. Yes. <laughs> so, so, so. Uh, anyway, Perry learns a lesson about being current, and the blogger learns a lesson about being uh, about having integrity. Oh. But boy. really, but but no, newspapers are really better though, because <laughs> they're older. Right. Uh, wow. So, so that's volume one. Volume Why one. are there inter- what? Why are there interludes? Yeah. Uh, probably because these other people are trying to, like, make money doing things. So they're like, I'm not, I don't want to, I don't want to be on this sinking ship. Right. So, I mean, the volume two is just he, you know, he runs into an area where... Uh, uh, like Laura Croft's hanging out, I that's, guess. That's the, that's the new artist working on this book, and he's drawing the teacher who's just... They're just sowing the seeds of doubt in Superman's mind. Because mm. as Superman is going on his pilgrimage, he's running into people. And his and cape got shorter. Yes. Uh, <laughs> there's, but there's one point where like, he gets into a... He goes through a park, and this woman comes up to him, and she goes, you know, it's, it's, it's great that like you're doing this for yourself, but when you walk through a park full of children, you're asking Doomsday to show up and kill everybody. Like, you're just a walking gun. What? what? Yeah. Is this, is this gonna come into play at any point? Yes, it, it it comes up actually, but it's just basically Superman being like, "I don't even know why I'm doing this," and you're like, <laughs> "Okay." So the, there's a there's a uh, oh wait, is this Lois? Lois is also in it, and she oh, also sorry. looks like Lara Croft. I, yeah, I was gonna say that's why I thought it was Lara Croft. Yeah. She has a ridiculous action outfit on, and yeah. uh, I so, was going to comment on the size of Lois's boobs in one of these other panels because it's just. It's just it's just unbelievable. It's just insane. Well, it's yeah. really it's really the the size of the waist that accompanies mm. them, right? That it's like where it's yeah. not real. where are your organs and <laughs> how, how are you, you living? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's like a factory that's polluting the groundwater and uh, the environmental like the people who are it's all because of Captain Planet episode. Because, <laughs> well, almost except it's hilarious because. The, uh, if Captain Planet was there the whole time instead of having to be called by the inept. No, <laughs> no, it's not. But here's why. Because um, Superman they is always like, had to call Captain Planet. Just one of them was really inept. <laughs> no, they all were inept because none of them could solve the problem. You have you Earth. If, Kwame really was the the most powerful. I you was going to say I thought, I thought Wheeler was. I was going to say Fire. Well, that's if they just let the American deal with the everything point? the way he wanted to. <laughs> oh, he, he had fire. fire. <laughs> That's right. He had fire. He had the most dangerous and destructive. He had the most responsibility. He mm. bared the most responsibility. And he was the and, worst one to and, do so. And, That's the point. And the Linka that was the... there was like fanning the flames. Oh. Well, obviously, <laughs> Linka and Wheeler, you know, like that was a whole metaphor for like, the Soviets and the U.S. just fucking get it over with. Like, <laughs> right? just yeah. knock it off. Right? We all know you want each other. <laughs> <laughs> the, the plant is polluting the groundwater, and you got the people who who are upset that there's environmental problems, like fish are dying, and you got the workers and the mm. town who is supported by right, the they company. Need they need that right. factory, right. and Superman is like, "Well, I'm just gonna have to call the EPA," and they go, "Superman, don't do that because we'll be out of jobs." And he goes, right. "Hmm, that's a good point. Okay, uh, uh, yeah, don't call the EPA. You can keep polluting the groundwater." And so, and Lois is like. What? <laughs> and he goes, listen, uh, it's just fish. And Lois goes, yeah, well, I'm going to write an article about how they're polluting the groundwater. <laughs> and he goes, I wouldn't do that if I were you, Lois. And she's like, well, I'm going to anyway. And he goes, I, and he goes, don't. And you're like, what? What is happening? And then she goes, get away from me. And then she leaves and doesn't talk to him for almost the rest of the book. Wow. What the crap? He actually kind of manhandles a little bit. He, like, grabs it. He's like, don't... Uh, 
I said that you that you yeah. were that Lois. But Lois, I'm just saying. Is this the I've chick? made a decision. You is will the, not write that article. The, the foot's coming up, is and the, if it comes down, <laughs> so help me. So is this the Straight chick? The moon. Is she influ- literally? Is this teacher influencing Superman? Is that why he's like this? Maybe, but it never comes up. No. Oh. Because later, he will be free of her, and he will talk to Lois, and he'll be like, Listen, Lois, I'm really sorry that I tried to strong-arm you into not writing that article. And she goes, Well, I did anyway. And he's like, Of course you did, because you're Lois Lane, what and I love you. the hell the end. is happening? Oh, Superman gets visited by, like, the... The Superman squad... Yeah, that's what it says. Who's that? It's, it's, it, okay. This is an idea that was introduced, like, a while ago. In, actually, in All-Star Superman, it's brought up, but, like... Okay! The idea of, in the future, mm. there'll be, like, Superman will inspire yes. or actually literally propagate yes, I many remember. Supermen. Yeah. Well, there's a fortress in, like, the, in, in, like, the folds between time or whatever that, uh, that all the Supermen from everywhere can converge and hang out in. Oh. You gotta clean under those folds. Yeah. <laughs> otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, you get an infestation of Superman. That's right. Well, they already do. <laughs> How do you get there? Uh, through like dimensional you portals. You have to oh. sing a song. No, you don't have to sing a song. <laughs> Maybe they just got Flash to take them there every time. No, Flash has no knowledge of this no. area. But he could travel through time at will. Yeah. yeah, but everything's a blur. Well, anyway, he gets called by the Superman squad. Going. They take him to the fortress where he's surrounded by Superman, uh-huh. and they're just like, "Look at what you inspire." You're. We know from the history books that you are in a place of great darkness, and you're 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 really depressed, and you're doubting whether you should be even Superman. Hmm. And we're saying you should because otherwise we won't exist. So fucking knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> you really need and, to. And, and and they're all kind of like this, except for African American masked Superwoman, who is like, I believe in you, and you know what? If you decide not to be Superman, then that's the decision that Superman should make, and that's fine. We'll never. We won't even feel it. Is, what? <laughs> There's a gorilla Superman. What? And a bat Superman? That's Super Batman. Who decides to honor the legacies of both of Superman both of and them. Batman. He's the best of both. <laughs> yes. That's right. He's the world's greatest detective. He's, and he can melt stuff with his head. That, he's literally, <laughs> he's only in one panel and he just looks at them going like, that's right. They drew me. He's got, this is, <laughs> this is insane. It's he's just, it's he's just got the, the, like, the black... Underwear over the, the suit. blue suit, but He's the got, red cape, but the black cow. cow, and the S with bat wings, oh. Oh. and a bat utility belt. Oh, that's just the that's just the Batman vs Superman logo right yes, there. It is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So kind of. Yeah. So anyway, Superman's like, yeah, uh, I don't know if this is really doing it for me. So he leaves. <laughs> Yeah, this is kind of friggin' weird, guy. Uh, I gotta go. Now, I mean, he's really like, I'm inspired. This is wonderful. Really? So that, yeah. So he runs into so he runs into Flash, and he's like, Barry, um, like have, Flash a girl? No, that's that's the that's one of the super people. Oh, she's also she's like the one who's Flash? like Superman. You're great. Oh. Like, why is she wearing a Flash costume? No, it's just not. a it's just a mask. It's just red. Look. It goes from the cape into the helmet. There she is. Oh. Okay. So, so, how does the gorilla get Superman powers? He's from a group of people who are sentient to gorilla people. Superman. Yeah, but how does like he get garage the, or, How does he get oh, superpowers? They're, like, they're well, because all... they're not all of them are Kryptonian. Oh. Some of them just get their powers through other oh, means. I thought you were going to tell me that he went on like a. You know... I have no idea what you're trying to say. <laughs> well, you know, he, he went native. Oh, you mean he banged a super person? No, a gorilla. Person. Like Superman banged oh, a gorilla. Oh, had sex with a gorilla. Yeah. I don't believe that's his lineage, no. Well, just, I'm just offering that's, that's, it. That's an alternative explanation. You know what? Well, it's you know not what? In, the one. In the multiverse, there could mm. be one universe where yeah. that happened. Yeah. True enough. There there has to be, because there's universes for anything happening. In that's the right. Any, <laughs> any possibility that you can imagine has a universe. There's a map, and I'm sure that one of the Earths is not the one where Superman had sex with a super person. So anyway, gorilla. Superman, with a with a, yeah, with a yeah, super gorilla. Get it right. So Superman, uh, a he, regular gorilla. The super yeah. gorilla is the offspring. Yeah. I'm not even gonna <laughs> dignify this. So Superman just drunk dials Lois throughout his pilgrimage, oh just calling her, leaving voicemails. Hey, Lois, I miss you. Hey, sorry, 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 I was a dick. Anyway, does he ever relent on his no. stupid? 
Oh, his opinion? Not no. caring about the groundwater? No, he does not. He's just like, I'm really sorry that you were mad. I'm sorry that you decided to, to take to... what I said so personally. <laughs> what a great guy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Truly the best of us. What a so, Superman. Superman's walking through this random town, and he... The town's... Flash winds up getting this weird piece of Kryptonian tech on his head, and it, like, is controlling him, and the part of the Flash that still exists uses the Kryptonian information that's being, like, force-fed into his brain to, to, to dress a town like Kryptonian history to get Superman's attention. So, when Superman addresses the fact that this town is, like, dolled up to look like a play performance of Kryptonian history, he notices that these people are getting, like, Superman-type clothing, or Kryptonian clothing, on them. And he realizes that the Flash is the one doing it. And when he catches up with the Flash, he sees that he's wearing this, like, Kryptonian tech, and it's controlling him, so he takes it off. And the Flash, of course, reveals, like, yeah, I, I got this random... I found this thing. It must have fallen from New Krypton. I, like... It, it went I, on me. I put it on. I, I put it on. It. I was like, oh man, I think I look pretty good it in It looks crown. like a tiara. I, I, he doesn't no, like, does. he doesn't say like I put it on. He just, it goes on Well, to I mean, him. to be fair, I wouldn't admit it either. Right. If I were him. Is it like mean, the so, one ring, like once he had it in his hand, he was like, I have to put it on. Right. No, it's, it, he legitimately just says like, it goes on me, which is basically him saying, I put it on because I wanted to see what I, it looked, I, <laughs> but I left that part out of the I story. I had that thought where I was like, man, Diana looks great in that tiara. In that tiara. I, I need mean, to look fabulous. Because wear a cool piece of tech. So. He puts it on, and he and, and and it immediately like makes him crazy. But but the part of him that still is the Flash, like tries to communicate with Superman by telling him stories of morality. It's just echoing the theme of the book, you know the 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 lessons that the Flash is spouting off in Kryptonian, and that he's making the people dress like and wear and stuff like that. So, so it's just so this all happens so that Superman can end up in a city that looks like Krypton and confront his like history and his life and yeah. his ceilings and stuff. Yeah, and have a conversation with the Flash. Right. And then this thing goes away and yep. it never and when Ed is never addressed dealt again. with or That's referenced right. again. Yeah. This is like a friggin' like like old school story. This is like a like nineteen forties type. Yeah. So story. then Superman goes to this planet that no one can pronounce <laughs> and the indigenous people are being subjugated by a robot they built and uh, Superman <laughs> defeats it, and then it's never referenced again, or has any bearing yeah. on the story whatsoever. Check out his foot flipper hand. Oh my god. Maybe he's just going really fast. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Super- anytime that you see the Flash looks a little bit strange, it's because he's moving so fast. Yeah. By well, the way, th- it's guy. awful. Superman and Flash have, a, have, have lunch and a conversation so fast that it's during... Occurring while somebody while is... While someone's tripping. Yeah. So I guess they're talking fast, too. Yeah, so someone hearing that would just be hearing... Yep. <laughs> so, uh, Superman... Well, he ain't got time for that shit. No. I didn't realize Superman was so fast that he... Yeah. Did, uh, saw stuff in slow motion. Yeah, he's not... But when he wants to be, he oh. is. Okay. So he tells he a story about... At the same speed as Flash, but when the story wants him to be, then he is. That's right. So he, he tells a story... Like, Superman recounts a story about how when he was a kid, Lex Luthor and he were in class, they were in detention together, blah, it doesn't matter, who cares. Lex is in the book for a second. <laughs> and get uh, Lex in there. And, and Superman says, you know, so I asked you a question a while ago about how what do you see when you, you know, when when you when you run? Mm-hmm. And you said that you don't see anything, you have tunnel vision. And Flash goes, "I was kidding. I never I see everything. I'm faster. I I'm so fast that I can take in all my surroundings." Well, no, the whole lesson of being the Flash that you absorb everything and, and every experience and you get to be in 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 harmony with the people and the world. And Superman's like, "What?" And then you never you see him kidding. again. Yeah, we were kidding. That's, that's more not like a joke. Yeah, more like <laughs> uh Chris Robertson was like, "No, I don't want to I don't like that." Oh my god. So he unmakes what Straczynski wrote earlier in the book. And then holy crap. Crap. Because this book is still going... This is a disaster. Yeah. So then the book is still going on... Why? ...long enough for Batman to have returned from time and established <laughs> Batman Incorporated and all this other shit. So now Bruce Wayne Batman shows up and he goes, Hey, Clark, I heard that you were walking across the country while I was gone. That's neat. Dick also says that you were flipping out. I tend to agree with him, 
but I'm also going to be way more open and nice about it. Bruce Wayne, and he's like, well, I, I actually just established Batman Incorporated where I can have Batman everywhere. And he's like, but you can be everywhere. And it's nice that there's a... Le- and you have a legacy. You got, like, you got Superboy and you got Supergirl. And, like, you you know, people are carrying your legacy. And from what I understand, there's a Superman League or whatever in the folds of time. And, you know, it's nice. You should feel good about that. You're... You know, like I have a have a message of fear, and you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to like I'm trying to fix that and clean it up a little bit. But you, you know, you say, man, you got a you got a you got a blemishless ba- uh, brand, uh-huh. you know. So keep it up. And so the two of them are like, yay! Oh. So then Livewire attacks. Oh Jesus! And it's literally no reason. So Livewire is taken over by whatever. Uh, sh- oh no. Um, Livewire at this point they're trying to turn Livewire into like an antihero or like a superhero, and she. Uh, I don't even know who Livewire is. Livewire is... <laughs> I know who she is. I've never heard that name she before. She was in the cartoon life. show. Live she was voiced is, by uh, Lori Petty. She was a cool character. <laughs> she has electricity powers. And uh, she used to be a Superman villain. And in this point, before the reboot, they were trying to make her into a superhero. Okay. But uh, they also wanted to do this story where she's a supervillain. So right. um, when her, the elect- her electricity powers affect her brain. So when the longer that she's outside of containment the more, like, scattered her mind gets. So okay. she, like, kind of resorts back to being a villain. And also, uh, the the Sweet. teacher woman who is using her telepathy powers from the crystal that she had, oh, yeah. yeah, she is there too, and she's right. using it to make things... Is she things... still teaching? No, she left. <laughs> Oh. She just left and followed Superman on his pilgrimage. Oh, okay. Oh. So imagining her like also grading. Right. She's like, oh my god, Jeremy, when are you going to get this these, <laughs> these compound sentences? Oh, right? hang on a second. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Anyway, so, uh... Has she been doing stuff through the whole book? She's just been like, yeah, 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 That's literally it. But what does she do? She uses her newfound Kryptonian, like, mind powers to make Superman doubt himself. Okay. So... So yeah, he pro- she probably did make him act like a dick to Lois. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Let's just say that. Let's just say that's what happened. Yeah. So, well, that. anytime he does something that you don't like... It's because of her. It's because it's of mind, mind control. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, see, he, Superman calls Star Labs, which is like a super advanced lab technician yeah. group that like Superman works with, that was dealing with Livewire in the first place, and they're like, mm-hmm. well, she needs like a containment suit to control all the electricity. Mm-hmm. And he goes, oh, I used to have one of those. Back oh, in no the way. 90s when I was electric <laughs> Superman. So he goes to the Fortress of Solitude, uh, grabs his stupid 90s costume, and oh puts her in it. Superman puts her in the Livewire, in the, in the uh, Superman mm-hmm. blue costume, mm-hmm. and I guess then she now has a new look. Which is the old Superman costume. Yeah. And then she uses her electricity powers to change the S into an L. Okay. And, like, it doesn't matter because New 52 happens, like, six months later and they reboot it. So, whatever. (laughs) Did she get a book for a little while? No. (laughs) But I guess they're implying that they were, like... uh, I guess they're implying that DC didn't tell everybody that they were doing a reboot. And so they did that. So then Superman calls uh, Superboy and Supergirl... And he's like, it's a crazy costume. And he ch- and he changes out of his what? Oh, her her costumes. Are yeah, weird. And he changes out of his Superman costume, and he says, "Stop being super characters. I'm done being. I'm quitting." After all of that. After all of that, he goes, "I don't want you to be super people anymore." Wait, wait, wait. I, I I'm done. He's quitting, so they can't be super people anymore. Yes. What the fuck? Well, it's like, what the fuck are well, you that's, doing, that's grabbing Lois brand. and stuff? Yeah, that's, that's my brand. That's I, my brand. I own. The Superman logo, and yep. I don't want you to use it anymore. Yeah. I, I own the House of L, so... Yeah, you know, he's like, I get, asked myself... Well, in, in the story, he's like, I asked myself, must there be a Superman? And the answer is no. So, you guys are done. But you, she is no man. <laughs> yeah, well... That's true. <laughs> so, he get, he, so, Superman goes to Seattle, and he gets do some they, coffee. Do they listen to him? They're like, what the hell? I guess so, okay. Well, what? you could kick our ass, I guess, so, yeah. alright. You're being really weird, so, okay. And then he but goes probably to Seattle. Just that, and they're going to be, but no, we're still. Yeah. They're going to be bad characters instead. Yeah, fine. I'll be so, super bat boy. So he runs to Seattle, and he has some free coffee, and then like this super fan shows up, a Superman fan, uh huh, who's totally otaku for Superman, and he's talking to Clark, and Clark's writing his like his like his what a scoop Superman quit story. Okay. And right. the uh, and and the super fan is like, you you. No, you don't know anything about Superman. Superman would never quit. And then he takes Clark through the city, and he randomly flags down people he sees and goes, Hey, is Superman great? And they're like, Yeah, of course he's great! And he's like, Right! And then he's like, Right, Clark? Duh! And then Superman's like, Hmm, you're, you're, 
making a compelling argument, Neckbeard. I, I think I might agree with you. And then uh, he is attacked by the mastermind of the whole thing, which is that woman who got the crystal. Yeah. And she's like, no! You're supposed to quit! All those times that people criticized you, they were actually telling you how great you were, and your self-doubt was making them say terrible things. Like the woman who was like, it's really irresponsible of you to bring your Superman costume into this park, you're a gun. Actually, she says, you're my hero. And she was using mind control to make him think that they were... That they were saying negative things about Okay, her. what about the cancer lady? Oh no, what? that was real. Oh. It's just that some people are stupid and oh. can't differentiate between like their problems and, and Superman's So she problems. was amplifying that and making it seem like everybody was. Yeah, she <laughs> she found she found that little chink in his armor. Yeah, and then and then uh, so he then he takes her into the world that like the super fortress is in uh -huh. through the infinity doorway or whatever, and uh, and and he's like, listen, you know, just knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's not. That was not cool. They're yeah, in the well, they're in the no. still zone. Yes. No. Stop it. So <laughs> totally different art. Yeah. Stop so it. then the art totally shows again. I, I kind of like it. And uh, and and he's like and, and he's like you're holding this crystal. It's supposed to be for Kryptonians. I don't know what it does to people, but apparently it makes them assholes. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes and I can't break it, but what I can do is I can touch it with you, and then I'll focus my hope through the prism into your mind. And then it shatters, and she gets superpowers. <laughs> what? And becomes that superwoman that believes in him in the super squad. Oh my god! Of course. And he <laughs> and he says, and right before they leave, oh no, she, she's still teaching. She oh yeah, no, her secret identity is that she's a teacher, right? But when she gets the signal, she's like, okay, superwoman, it is. And then she goes away because of the two. Yes. So it's it's a wonderful life. Yes. <laughs> but but surprisingly more ham-fisted and obvious. Well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Frank Capra, this is not. No, okay, so, so he goes across the nation. He walks across the country. And in every place, she's there making him think that everyone is angry and upset with him. Yes. So his reactions to their actually being nice... Yeah, is that are... they're being dicks. <laughs> But it's but it's just him being depressed. So when they say like "You're my hero," he goes, "Oh." So he looks. So he still looks humble. <laughs> so people are like, "Oh, okay." Are like, so wait, is that kid's is dad so actually beating him? Yes. Yes. Oh no, that really happened. Oh yeah, no, the bad guys are still bad guys. Okay, so but his critics. That, no, the point is that anyone who is a critic of Superman is actually a huge fan of him at I heart. See. Oh, I see. Oh. All right. All right. <laughs> So, so, so shut up, critics of Superman. Because if actually not, you love him, that yeah. would have been really awkward if he beat the hell out of that kid's dad. Yeah, and he was yeah. actually like, he's actually the best dad ever. It doesn't say he yeah. beat the hell out of him. No, he he's like just, the guy's just like he's just like walking toward the guy, and then it cuts to like the police station. Yeah. Yes, All right. like, but he does have like a bruise or two. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So what this, is, okay. this is all over the it's, place. It's so madness. slipshod and messy and lousy and stupid. It's almost like they were like, hackneyed. how do we fix it? Add another character. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the, the, it was know. almost like it was the perfect example for the new 52. Right. Okay. It's like, shit. look at how complicated and messy Superman has become. Yeah. We should, re we should really reboot it. Yeah. It, it's almost too convenient. Right. If I were to get my tinfoil hat, I might argue that they deliberately made it so terrible to make the New 52 look like a really, really good idea. Right. I don't necessarily believe that, mm -hmm. but this certainly didn't help this anything. Didn't help, yeah. Yeah. And Straczynski making, at, this t at the time of this publication, a more successful alternate reality superman mm -hmm. also really was another nail in the coffin for pre flashpoint right. like, well if we could just do it all new yeah like it look it'd be great like this like like the earth one yeah. the same guy tried to use the continuity superman and it was a dismal failure but as soon as he went to ungrounded yeah. superman we got a real we got a really great book yeah. a new york times Let's bestseller just do that superman grounded everybody this is a mess and a half and it, it's it, just it's, there's it, more <laughs> 
after he fights that monster, he has a black eye. Oh, the little boy? In the dream, no, in the dream. He wakes up and he's oh, yes. like, what's wrong with your face? And he's got a bruise. Yeah. He has a real bruise after a dream where he fights a monster. Well, maybe yeah. he punched himself in his sleep. <laughs> That's right. Is that what happened? Maybe. We never get it. They never tell us. Ah! <laughs> So either his mind makes it real, mm-hmm. like in the Matrix, like in the fucking Matrix, <laughs> or or he punched himself, or he punched in the himself face. in the face, and probably almost killed Lois. Right? This is total a disaster. Total... This is a god awful, unmitigated world. disaster. It's such an interesting concept. I know it could have been. Well, it's an interesting concept if you do like, if it is a self-contained story, if it's a graphic novel, or if it's four parts. If it yeah. just no, it could have yeah. just been this like a single book. Yeah. yeah, just one, one yeah. book. I know. Done. Where yep. he, he he has a little bit of doubt. Yep. And then and then, and then he gets reconnected with America and yeah. he learns no. I'm I'll redouble my efforts to be Superman. Yeah. But instead there's gotta be a lady with friggin' with mind doubt powers. powers and a Kryptonian crystal and the feeble from the future. And mm-hmm. What are you doing? Yeah. You didn't have to Superman didn't get complicated because of all the continuity. He got complicated because you keep insisting on like including crazy shit. Superman this grounded is... everybody. Hey, thanks for having me on for this. Hey, yeah, welcome back. A pile of shit. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We, was, we read Superman American Alien, and I was like, that's great. Oh, I really so enjoyed good. that. Yeah, so, I have to read that stuff. Yeah, you love it. No, huh? No, no not this, this, not so much. This is $23. <laughs> just the first one. So was this. <laughs> you paid twenty forty six dollars Oh, no, I did oh. not. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see this colored sticker here. <laughs> <laughs> it's for that one too here. oh it yeah, yeah. yeah. it here. was a buy one get one nice I did not buy the first one for cover price either <laughs> <laughs> yeah alright anyway we'll see you guys next time with an all new episode of Back Issues thanks so much for tuning in I'm Sal I'm Ethan and I'm Tiffany click the little good description box down below to get a copy of if this you book want. yeah you want to sample it for yourself don't pay $23 no each. don't <laughs> please don't <laughs> But you should buy it if you're at all interested. That's right. Yeah, or just go and check out or Superman just, American Alien. Yeah. Go to your library. <laughs> I don't know if they have these. I doubt they would have it. They but might. also, this will be part of the Superman playlist on back issues. So go back and pick up the other books, because we usually do a book that I like for Superman. But I'm proving right here, like, not all pre-New 52 Superman is gold. Yeah. you got to cherry pick it, because sometimes yeah. and, yeah. and you get one of these. Though, even though we... we on this couch are fans of some of the Superman stories where he doesn't punch a whole lot. Yeah. Right. He doesn't punch a whole lot in He this. doesn't do anything. I it's did not like garbage. this at all. Yes, yes, so, yeah, no. Yep. Uh, you gotta have <laughs> did you, good What writing. is your quote on the back? My quote on do the you back? Have a quote? Um, I, have I have one. one. I got one from Ain't It Cool News. Oh. oh. Definitely entertaining. <laughs> it Period. Is, <laughs> it shouldn't even say that. It shouldn't just say definitely entertainment. It is te- yeah. technically entertainment. <laughs> I mean, it could be entertaining in the wrong way and that it's so bad it's, yeah that it's, it's entertaining. entertaining right yeah there are a couple of articles about it where they're just like you're an asshole it goes from being like really really preachy to just being inane yeah the- and I don't know what's worse I think I'd prefer an, an incredibly agenda driven preachy book that you can just laugh at yeah, versus yeah. this this mess this is a mess yeah well he he may in fact be more human than any of us no. That's what the inside says. That's categorically not true. Oh, well. He's literally not. He's literally another alien. Yeah, He's yeah, an alien. But, but if, you just, if you just open this up and read that, I got your device. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what? I, da- I, I highly doubt that. I'll... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Especially on the heels of New Krypton, because that was a neat idea and a mm-hmm. way better execution. But anyway, that's a show for another episode. <gasps> mm-hmm.